Good afternoon. Today we'll be discussing a poem written by Sujata Bhatt, and the title of this poem is Udayali. Sujata Bhatt is a famous Indian poet. She was born in Gujarat, and later she moved to United States, and she is married to an American citizen. The title of this poem is very significant. Udayali. Udayali literally means. not to touch a woman during menstruation a woman becomes untouchable during her period of menstruation this poem is about treatment meted out to women during menstruation and this happened in india around 1950s and 60s it was observed in almost all over india that women were subjected to uh, untouchability during their menstruation period and the condition is still persists in some parts of india particularly the parts which are not urbanized and um, where poverty and illiteracy both at the same time persist she is not permitted to enter into the house and she is kept in a room near a cow shed and she is not allowed to live in the house for a while and she is asked to live in a in in a room or a makeshift room near the cow shed cow shed is the place where the cows were kept like animals recover from their wounds in a cow shed similarly women's kitchen scarred fingers also get time to heal because for the time being she is not allowed in the kitchen so she is comforting herself by saying that her hands which used to work relentlessly in the kitchen will get some rest because she is not allowed to enter into the kitchen for a while so this is an analogy she will also get a chance to read and write and what she used to write in those days write letters write letters to her near and dear ones and she will get time to read and write she feels that she can't look at the stars for too long or she will contaminate them so this is a remarkable statement made by her that uh, she can't look at the stars for too long or the stars might get contaminated by her looks she is unable to sleep and paces to and fro in her small room so she is in a state of anxiety she has lost her sleep and she moves to and fro in her small room because she is not comfortable the room is her limit the the confines of the room are her limit not his limit her limit despicable condition of the room is mentioned in the poem the room is in a haphazard state despicable the room includes a narrow rope bed bed made of uh, ropes dusty newspapers held down by age old beliefs cowries and a conch so these are the items which could be found in her room this is a state when a woman finds herself totally handicapped and disabled so she feels as if she is handicapped or disabled for some time because she is confined to a room she calls herself as a prisoner menstruation is linked with fertility and reproduction 
then why it is considered so unauspicious in our society? She poses a question before the society that it, uh, it is a phenomenon which is found in all females and uh, it is linked to fertility and reproduction. Then why it is considered as a taboo or uh, it is not respected and it is considered as unauspicious. She has used uh, her own expression to explain the state, uh, the physical state as well uh, as the mental state of a woman during menstruation period. I quote, uh, to blood flowing against, uh, rushing against something, clumps of my blood. So it is a very explicit image. Uh, you can say graphic representation of uh, the state of the physical state of menstruation. It shows menstruation through a scientific process occurring in the organic body and it is a biological process. And it is explained in terms of science, in terms of biology. And uh, she uses or rather incorporates a metaphoric uh, usage of seaweed and turtle eggs as the symbols of fertility and reproduction. So, so she uses uh, the words seaweed and turtle eggs and they are used, bo both of them are used as symbols which represent fertility and reproduction at the same time and uh, that brings uh, the end of this particular poem Udeli and we will continue to discuss poetry in our next video. Thanks.